Hi, I'm Rishti. Today we will be discussing about the prokaryotic cell and its structure. So as you can see on the right side, the cell structure basically is drawn. So before we move on to the cell, we need to understand what are, for any basic cell, whether prokaryotic or eukaryotic, we need to have three basic things. So what are the three basic things as such? The first is the outer covering. That is, in this case, this entire portion would actually be covered into your outer covering. Then, you would have your cytoplasm. Everything inside this outer covering, this is this, the this cytoplasm. Plus, this includes cytoplasm and the various other organelles that are present. In prokaryotic cell, mostly no organelles are present. But otherwise, in eukaryotic cell, you would be having a large amount of cyto organelles as well. And the third one would be the nuclear material. So, in this case, this is the prokaryotic cell and this nucleoid is the nuclear material that we have. So, as you see, I would explain about, I would name about the basic parts of a prokaryotic cell. We have a slime or the capsule at the outermost surface. This is basically the jelly thing, that's why the prokaryotic cells are a kind of a jelly material. This helps in attachment to the surface they have. Inside the slime in the capsule, we have cell wall, which is the basic protection thing that we have in the prokaryotic cell. So apart, it also provides the shape and structure to the cell, apart from providing the protection that it does. Inside the cell wall, there is a plasma membrane, which is a bilayer that you already know about. And between the two, the plasma membrane and the cell wall, we have a space that is called the periplasmic space. The, ex, uh, the actually uh, width of the periplasmic space differs from different prokaryotic cells. It might be also be there that in some more, many kinds of uh, bacteria, the periplasmic space, uh, space may not exist at all. Inside the plasma membrane, we have flagella that move out and we have certain types of vacuoles and other things that are present. In many bacteria also, associated with the cell wall is a small kind of a structure. These are called mesosomes. So we will move on first, uh, we will go on in this order. So first we move on and we will discuss the plasma membrane. So plasma membrane, as you all know, is the basic bilayer structure. It's a lipoprotein kind of a structure. And the composition of plasma membrane not only differs between eukaryotic and prokaryotic cell, but also within the different prokaryotic cell. So as you would have already been studying about this, so these are the basic structure of the plasma membrane. It's a bilayer. These are the lipids that we have and we would have certain kinds of proteins associated with this plasma membrane. Plasma membrane basically provides, the primary function of plasma membrane would be providing this selectively permeable membrane that is it would allow only certain molecules to pass through that is in and out. So, a cell needs to have nutrients that the plasma membrane would actually get in the amount that it needs and it would go and excrete out the waste that are generated inside the cell. So, in the structure that we have the basic thing, these are the lipids and these are basically amphicillin. What is the amphiphilic terms? mean here is that these have hydrophobic as well as hydrophilic ends. So these actually are the hydrophilic ends of these lipids and these are the hydrophobic ends of the lipid. So what happens is the, these lipids actually orient themselves into a bilayer format where the hydrophobic end is submerged and the hydrophilic ends are towards. So this is basically the outside of the cell. This is the plasma membrane. And this is the inside of the cell. So, 
This side also we have water, this side also we have water, and we have uh, these plasma membranes. In general, eukaryotic cells just have protein, and these proteins may be of basic types. These could be actually peripheral proteins which are attached to the plasma membrane inner or outer surfaces, or the integral proteins. The integral proteins are actually like lipids, they have hydrophobic domains, like they would have certain moieties which are hydrophobic which range from this region and this region would actually be the hydrophilic domain. Mostly the peripheral proteins are hydrophobic proteins and they are exposed to the outer surface of the cell. The major functions that the proline provides are the basic transport functions that we would study later. Plus, there would be certain enzymes or receptors that the cell has for certain molecules. So, this basic model or this structure is known as the fluid mosaic model. Where these proteins, these lipids are actually considered as fluids in which these proteins are actually as mosaic which exists inside the uh, lipid structure. So inside, this is just the plasma membrane bilayer but in case of prokaryotic cells, the plasma membrane performs certain other functions which are not there in other body, in, which are not there in the eukaryotic cells in basic. So what are these, when we move on to the function of the plasma membrane, so what are the plasma membrane functions we have would be, first obviously would be the providing as a selectively permeable membrane barrier. So it would only allow molecules in appropriate quantities that are needed by the cell to move in or out. Okay. The next function that plasma membrane functions is of basically the electron transport chain. So in eukaryotes, basically we have organelles like mitochondria in which the actual oxidation steps occur. But in case of uh, prokaryotes, these enzymes are actually present in the periplasmic space and the associated plasma membrane has the electron transport chain enzymes embedded. Those are the proteins and the reaction actually takes place out here. So we have the respiratory as well as the photosynthetic enzymes. in the plasma membrane. Then the, so basically all these organelle functions that are present in the eukaryotic cell which are provided by the chloroplast, mitochondria are there uh, provided by the plasma membrane itself. Yes, ribosomes are present inside a eukaryotic cell. This is all about plasma membrane.